Hello and welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Today, Legoland New York released new footage and images of their new dark ride attraction, the Lego Factory Adventure. This new dark ride attraction is on the same kind of wavelength as maybe a Toy Story Midway Mania mix, as well as something like um, Transformers at Universal. But it's very different also because it shrinks you to the size of a pet or er, of Lego figurine as well as um as trackless which is very very cool and as you can see there's a very factory themed setting and as a very thematic setting you step on Legos as you board your vehicles the vehicles again they look very just a uh, typical standard dark ride vehicle that can be kind of like, again, the Transformer ve Transformers vehicles <laughs> at Universal Parks. Here's one of the show scenes, and here as you zoom through the factory, I think it's called, I think, I, I don't know if there's like uh, a premise to the attraction, like usually there's something chasing you or you're trying to escape something. I don't know if you're trying to escape the factory, more so it's just kind of like a tour of the Lego factory as you are on Lego itself, maybe you're being like shipped or stored in the Lego factory, a new shipment of Legos or something. I don't know, there's usually some kind of story with these things. But as you can see, you'll be zooming up and down the hallways of with these cool Lego figurines and cool Lego um, animatronics and co sculptures and uh, stuff like the giraffe in the foreground over there. And I think it was that a dragon, dragon up top in the top almost got the top of the picture, almost in the top right corner, right by that Lego symbol. Um, but then as you zoom through to this new, new, um, new, uh, scene here, it looks like, oh wow, I just realized that actually, it looks like there's an interactive element. It looks like, like, especially on the car to the right, the guest is like shooting something or extending his arm out. So I might take that Neg Lego Ninjago technology and you might have some interactive elements as well, but it's not completely interactive. So again, it's like, kind of like Toy Story Midway Mania, but with Transformers with, it's again, it's not completely just screen, screen, screen. It'll be zooming throughout the Lego factory as well, but it looks like you'll also be shooting something. Um, unless the guy is just, unless that dude is just sticking his arm out just to say, hey, look, it's uh, us. I don't, I don't know. But those are lego boxes those lego factory boxes are like board game like big lego boxes as you're supposed to be you know shrunk down to the size of a lego figurine by um just like the sequel for pets at universal studios hollywood it's using that same facial recognition technology to shrink you to the size of a pet this same technology will be applied here to shrink you down to the size of a lego and everything will be larger than life inside the building, as you can see inside the show building, to really further prove that point. And maybe, maybe actually that's what that screen was about. Maybe it's not an interactive like shooter type thing. Maybe that screen was to show everyone as a Lego, because there's no in the other these other concept images. There are no um, no indications of a screen to show you that you're a size of a Lego or anything. But again, they have their arms up here in this picture. It's very interesting. They have their arms up like they're shooting something or they're something interactive. So it could be an interactive attraction. It could be an interactive attraction. Um, let me know in the comments below if you, if you have more information on that because I am not entirely sure because it, I, I think, I don't think it's supposed to be, but I wouldn't be surprised because Legos, Legos attraction, Legoland's attractions, like Ninjago and Splash Battle. <laughs> they have a lot of interactive attractions, especially for the children. So I'm not, I mean, I don't think it's interactive, but the way these, again, they're sticking their arms up. This is the second picture now. They're stick, some sticking their arms up. This is the time it's a whole group. So I think, I don't, but it doesn't look like they have a remote control. So I don't know. Maybe they're going to use, again, <laughs> that Ninjago and Spider Man Web Slingers technology to, to do something. But very, very interesting. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, it looks like a really cool ride. Um, nice headliner attraction for the new Legoland New York Park. 
which will be 160 acres in opening in spring 2021 after it got delayed due to the pandemic and actually just not being ready on construction schedules it got delayed it's supposed to open on july 4th of this year so it should be opening in 2021 spring 2021 when healthy travel is better but even if travel isn't as bad as as good as they want if, even if just half of new york city goes there they'll have some pretty good attendance numbers um so yeah what do you guys think of the attraction let me know in the comments below subscribe for more theme park updates including a tron construction update from the magic kingdom coming tomorrow and as always, have a fantastic day.